Hey, Tori, you ready for this weekend? Sure am. Mike and I were just discussing it. Cool, oh, he's over there? Yeah, Mike, check us on the phone about tomorrow. Hey, buddy, you ready for a trip? I am, I bought some new gear, especially for it. Oh, yeah, what you got? Uh, new tent, sleeping bags, a few other things. Awesome. Eh, I'm good with that. I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. Later. Timing, man. I just got here. Yeah. Let's get rolling then. I want to get set up, make the fire, and cook some food. Mike's always thinking about his stomach. That's the truth. <laughs> What's up? You guys know I don't do breakfast. Do right here. Okay, let's get some wood together and we get this party started. You know, I really shouldn't be out here camping. Got college work to do. Got a paper due in a week. I don't know, maybe the break will give my mind a rest. What kind of college work do you have? You gotta write a paper on cells and tissues and organs of the human body. I wish I had dedication and ambition like you've got. Well, don't be so hard on yourself. You've got dedication, it's just in different areas. Like what? Like the way you play piano and guitar. And the stunts you do on the BMX and skateboard are pretty amazing. Yeah, you're right. I guess you're really the point. What the hell? Holy shit! What the hell are you doing here? Hey, guy, you scared the crap out of me. What are you doing? Where did you come from? What are you doing here? 
Listen, buddy. Mike, calm down. Calm down? This guy just stumbles at the camp and sits to the side of me and you're telling me to calm down? Food, y'all y'all got some food? Listen, buddy, you got a lot of nerve stumbling into camp, sitting at my side, and just scaring the living hell out of me, and now you're gonna ask for food? I'll give you some food, but then you have to leave. What the hell are we gonna do now? Relax. I'm, I'm sure as soon as he's eaten and gotten warm, he'll be on the bed. Yeah, and what if he's not? Tori should have never fed the guy. It's just gonna encourage him to want to stay. Oh, come on. Don't no come on me. Look at him. He's obviously homeless and destitute. Giving him food like that, just gonna make him want to stick around. Jack's right. You should have never given him the food. Now he's never gonna leave. Listen, guys, I'll deal with it. You'd better. I don't be doing the weirdo in the night. Go. Uh, sir, we'd appreciate it if after you're done eating and getting warm, if you would go. Sir, did you hear what I... I'm a little bit chilled. Y'all got a blanket? Are you out of your tiny mind? What are you doing? You're supposed to be getting him out of here, not tucking him in for the night. Listen, the guy's cold. I'm sure as soon as he's warmed up, he'll be on his way. You better be. I didn't come out here to deal with this. I could be home studying. Uh, listen, my, my buddies aren't too happy that you're here and they, they want you to leave. So, you can keep the blanket to keep you warm through the night, okay? You're very generous. Thank you. You're welcome, but... I am. Thank you. I'm just going to stay for the night and I'll be gone before, sun, before the sun comes up. No, you can't stay. My friends want you to leave. You tell your friends that they'll be okay. I'm harmless. Well? He says he's going to stay through the night and be gone. Are you out of your mind? We told you to get rid of the guy. Listen, he says he's harmless and there's nothing to worry about. I bet that's what every psychopathic serial killer says right before they murder their victims. What? I'm sure he's harmless. He just came here for food and warmth. And he'll be gone before sunrise. No, I think you're mad. Now listen, if he gets anywhere near me, he's going to find himself on the end of this. I think you're overreacting. Overreacting? I don't think so. The guy stumbles into camp. We don't even hear him coming up, and he sits down at her side. It scares the living hell out of me. He starts asking for food. No. Okay, maybe it's a little bizarre. A little bizarre? It's a lot bizarre, Tori. And what's really weird, what's making it more bizarre, is that you're encouraging him to stay. I, I think he's harmless. Look, I'm gonna go talk to him and ask him to leave. Okay, do that. Get him out of here. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I'll, I'll be all right, soon I get a little warm here by the fire. So you're just gonna get warm and you'll be on your way? That's why I told your friend, yep, that's right. All right, man, have a good night, be well. You too, sir. Yeah, look, so you're just gonna get warm and then it'll be gone. I don't know when that'll be. And you believe him? Look, I don't know, okay? However, all I know is it's late. Tori fed him. Tori can deal with him. I'm going to bed. Good night. Are you serious? Good night, guys. Listen, Mike, I don't think he's going to leave, so you can turn in and I'll watch. No, you go to sleep. I'm not going to while there's a, some, some crazed lunatic anywhere near me. So you go to sleep, and I'll keep on watching the guy. I don't know the guy, I don't like the guy, and to be honest, the whole situation's kind of freaking me out. Okay, but only if you're sure. Oh, I'm sure. Good night. Yeah, whatever. <laughs>